Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole, and if you're sitting there right now wondering who's this bitch, that is because I'm new here, darling. So if you would like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. So today, ooh, my teeth just squeaked. I don't know ugh, if you heard that, but now I have chills. So anyways, today I want to inform you that there are murderers walking around in Louisville. They have killed someone while they were sleeping and did there has been absolutely no justice it has been 104 days since brianna taylor was murdered in her sleep brianna taylor was beautiful she was vibrant she was smart she was 26 years old and more importantly she was a human being and the fact that these killers are being allowed to walk around and serve on the police force mind you while her family grieves and Brianna Taylor doesn't get to, to even draw another breath and live her life is absolutely sickening and we all need to speak up and do something about it. So today for my video, I'm going to do an eye look, just something simple and pretty um, in memory of Brianna Taylor. I'm going to use her favorite colors, which were blue and purple. And while I do that, we can discuss what we can do to help make sure that this woman gets justice. Brianna Taylor should be 27 right now and I am 27. So it's really hard for me to sit there and think about how easily if my skin color was different, if I lived in a different neighborhood because of the color of my skin or even just had I been killed, what the difference in outcome would be, how these officers would have different rep uh, repercussions because they killed a white woman so for for the no further ado i'm going to get started and pull my tools okay so i'm going to start today with mac paint pot and painterly and just sweep that over the lid i find that this really works for me in keeping the shadow in place and I had LASIK surgery a couple years ago, so my eyes actually tear a lot, and this will help keep shadow from moving, even if I cry a little, okay? So while I do that, I'm just going to start talking to you a little bit of some of the things that we can do to help get some justice for Bianca Taylor. So change.org has a petition out. And with this petition, they are demanding justice as well as raising money for the Taylor family. So I will link anything that I mentioned below, products as well as any calls to action for helping get justice for Brianna. The change.org petition has actually gotten quite a bit of traction already. I believe that that helped play a part in ending the no-knock warrants in Louisville, but it's not enough. The police officers are still walking around, living their day-to-day -day life, even though they killed an innocent woman. And you know what? I shouldn't even say innocent, because we shouldn't kill criminals either. In America, you're entitled to... Um, Ooh, I blanked. You're entitled to a fair trial by a jury of your peers, and you are innocent until proven guilty. And being murdered because of the color of your skin or otherwise is absolutely wrong and a injustice to everyone. So I hope to see more people speaking up. Okay. Another organization that is also speaking really loudly is Color of Change. So they are calling for the arrests of Mattingly, Hankinson, and Cosgrove. Let's remember these names because we want them to go to jail. 
they are brutal murderers and I hope that they're ashamed and absolutely disgusted with themselves and even if they are we need to put them where they belong which is in jail and not on a police force to presumably do it again okay thanks so next I'm gonna be doing a lot of this look with the James Charles palette by Morphe I am going to start by dusting canvas on my lid and I'm just going to put this all over. Painterly can be a little tacky and mine's even a little dried out so I really want to make sure that I have a nice blendable even canvas which is ironic that I'm using canvas for that purpose. So next, I'm going to go in with single. doing this another thing that we can be doing right now is to be contacting officials in Kentucky so I have a good little list here of who we can be talking to first we're going to contact Mayor Greg Fisher our mayors may seem a little low level, but they have enough pull to really speak up at our town council meetings. And we really want them to know what we want and we want justice for Brianna. So, also you can contact the Louisville PD. I believe they have a contact form on their website so that you can be heard and get that information we want to bombard them basically and let them know that we're not going to just forget that this happened so i'm going to put single down under my lid Next, I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and I just really want to diffuse right up here. So the next person that we want to contact is the Attorney General, Daniel Cameron. Daniel Cameron has the ability to charge the police and is doing and is choosing not to do so. So we really want to blow this motherfucker up, okay? Not blow him up, blow him up, but blow up his phone. Okay. 
cleared that up. Next, I will be going in with Escape. And with Escape, I'm just going to pat it in the corner here. And I'm also going to pat it right on the inner corner. I'm going to take a little and put it down here too. I'm just going to pat it in and go kind of light because I love the vibrancy of this purple, but I want it a little more diffused down here. Now I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and just really blend this into the purple on top of my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Love That. I just want to make this a little bit of a softer purple right here in the crease. Next on my list of people that we can call and make sure that we know that we're watching is the governor of Kentucky, who is Andy Bashir. Bashir. So Andy Bashir, as the governor, has a good amount of power over the whole state. And if he were to put enough pressure on Basically, everybody that I already mentioned, I think that he could make a difference. So, I really want to encourage you guys to reach out to him if you reach out to anybody. Because he can make an executive decision to put some pressure on everyone. Next, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going to have to look up the shade for you guys because I keep on forgetting to do that and I don't know what shade it is, but if I saw it, I would. 
I'm going in with my Anastasia Concealer Brush. I'm just taking a little bit off the back of my hand. And I'm going to create a nice little crease in here. And I'm going to take my finger and just pat out the edges. Then I'm going to pet, pat, not pet, pat, brother right on there and I'm going to do the same to the other eye Next, I'm going to go back in with Escape and just retouch up this color here. right up into the crease again over the dome of the glue. I'm going to put a little bit of the glue Really just focusing that on the center of the eye. And again, I'm going to go back in here and just really blend this. I'm going to go in with a MAC glitter, it's like a reflex glitter, and this is in transparent pink. When I use this, it can kind of cake on, so I'm going to, I like to just like dust it on this end of the pot, so that it picks up but it's not super heavy. I'm 
I'm just going to kind of keep this focused on the blue. I'm going to pick up some liquid liner from uh, NYX Epic Ink Liner and just put it on this liner brush. Actually, I'm going to pick a different liner brush. Okay. I'm going to put it on this liner brush. smolder it into my lash line. Okay, so I'm going to put on some Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and put lashes on off camera. So this is the finished look. I did put a little bit of highlight on my inner corner and on my brow bone. I used So Good and Sister from the James Charles palette. I'm really loving this look. I feel like it's bold, it's vibrant. I did put on a demi wispy by Ardell Lash. I didn't want to do something too bold since the look is bold in itself. So the last thing that we can do to help get justice for Breonna Taylor is to donate. I encourage you to please donate to her family and if you already have done that you can also donate to the Louisville Bail Fund. We have a lot of protesters in there who have been protesting tirelessly and we need to get them out of jail so we can continue to fight. I really, really enjoyed making this video. I think speaking up right now is super important. I encourage you to please continue to speak up, contact your local um, government, contact your local police, talk to your family, talk to your friends. We need to make change everywhere, but please, please continue to say Brianna's name and let's get justice for this woman. Have a great, great day. I really appreciate you guys watching my video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe below. And I hope that you guys will join me again soon. Love you.